Welcome to the Carrier Pigeon Channel. Iran attacked Saudi Arabia this time. After Iran, Syria became Yemen this time. Iranian-backed fighters have not only confused Yemen, but have also begun to spread the confusion to surrounding countries. The war to become an invisible power, which has become a phenomenon in the Middle East, continues. States that have interests in the Middle East and do not stop despite all the harm done to humanity, are attacking the states that oppose their interests with the groups they support. Today's war strategies are now made with technology and puppets from their own soil, and we are faced with another example of this. This time, Iran-backed warring groups in the Middle East attacked Saudi Arabia. Saudi officials said on Saturday they had intercepted three ballistic missiles fired from neighboring Yemen targeting civilians in the eastern province as well as the southern cities of Najran and Jizan. According to a Department of Defense spokesman, debris from the response scattered over the eastern city of Damam, injuring people and damaging 14 homes. Spokesman Brigadier General Turkey al Malki said in a statement that the Saudi air defense captured and destroyed three ballistic missiles and three bomb laden drones launched by Iranian backed fighters, describing it as a brutal and irresponsible act. The Saudi led coalition, which is fighting Iran backed rebels, told state television it would take drastic measures to protect civilians. Iran allied groups have repeatedly targeted the kingdom in cross border attacks. In August, Combatant groups stepped up their operations using drones and missiles, and last Saturday's response came four days after a drone crashed south of Abba International Airport, injuring eight people and damaging a civilian aircraft. It also arrived just hours before the new United Nations envoy to Yemen, Hans Grunberg, took office on Sunday. In Damam, Twitter users reported hearing a loud explosion. Eastern Saudi Arabia is home to a huge oil infrastructure. A previous attack in September 2019 temporarily halted half of the kingdom's oil production. Iran-backed groups, which frequently carry out such cross-border attacks, said they targeted Saudi oil facilities. The group said other attacks targeted oil fields in the southern provinces of Jizan and Najran. There are no reports of any direct impact on Saudi oil facilities. In 2019, Rebels claimed responsibility for the drone attack on two facilities operated by Saudi state oil company Aramco. It temporarily reduced crude oil production by 5.7 million barrels per day, which is about half the kingdom's output. Saudi Arabia intervened in the Yemen war on behalf of the internationally recognized government in 2015, shortly after Iran-backed groups seized Yemen's capital. Yemen's crushing conflict has claimed tens of thousands of lives and displaced millions, leading to what the United Nations has dubbed the world's worst humanitarian crisis. As of March 2020, most Saudi-led coalitions have confirmed at least 7,700 civilian deaths caused by airstrikes. Iran, on the other hand, seeks minorities in the region on a common ground. The sects of these minorities mean nothing to them. Iran's only interest is to support its own interests and any formation that serves these interests. Acting to this end, Tehran forged a strong alliance that almost brought it under Yemen's domination. Yemen is one of the geographies where Iran wages proxy wars. Strengthening its presence in the region through warring groups in Yemen, Iran continues its activities against Saudi Arabia through Yemen. Political reasons for Iran's regional ambitions and hegemony efforts regardless of their religious beliefs or being anti-Israeli Western. All these are temporary slogans that serve great goals. Iran's choice of sectarian supported groups in Yemen as allies is not because they follow a different sect. Rather, his preference for these groups as allies over other Yemenis is disguised for geopolitical reasons. Indeed, this group is the exact opposite of Saudi Arabia, in accordance with its aims in the regional conflict, deployed in border areas. There are tribal leaders of different sects that are much more important than the group that took over in Yemen. Their families are more prominent because they are more numerous than supported and have an older history. It is an opportunity not to be missed for Iran, which aims to pose a threat to Saudi Arabia. Since the late 1990s, warring groups in Yemen have been continuing their activities against these people in the region, both culturally and organizationally. Iran convinced the leader of this group. Hussein al-Houthi, that the imamate belongs to his family, 
that sanctity is their most natural divine right, and that it is a religious obligation for the people to rule Yemen. Iran, resulting in the emergence of a marginalized group embracing the excluded, led to the exclusion of the marginalized group and caught the first flame. This was followed by clashes with people belonging to other sects in the region. Iran continues to accept young people affiliated with the movement of this combatant group. He has been involved in brainwashing activities to bring the youth closer to his ideology that stipulates absolute obedience in Iran, and has been providing financial resources to these youth for about 15 years without being stingy. Initially, these people clashed with the regime of the former president of the Republic of Yemen, Ali Abdullah Saleh. Then, in 2009, he attacked Saudi Arabia with slogans not much different from Iran. Although Saudi Arabia tried to draw attention to the relationship of this group with Tehran at that time, this claim was not taken into account by many groups. At the same time, Iran gave financial, military and media support to this group. Supporting its ally the Houthis on their way to power, Iran took advantage of the country's conditions during and after the February 2011 revolution to increase its influence in Yemen. This support took place in two phases. The phase before the fall of the capital Sana and the phase after the fall of Sana. Iran's strategy provokes opposition sectarian thoughts and regional powers. This strategy reflects negatively on Iran and its allies, undermines the stability of the region and drags the region into a hot war like decisive storm. As a result, if the subject is to be summarized, the warring groups in Yemen, which they support with financial, military and media power in line with Iran's interests, tried to attack Saudi Arabia by taking advantage of these supports. Saudi Arabian defense missiles prevented this, but the detonated debris inflicted damage on surrounding civilians. We have come to the end of another video. You can support us by liking the video. By subscribing, you can easily follow new videos. I wish you all happy days. See you later.